The challenge with getting shots of you, oh, sorry, <laughs> there I almost tripped, is not falling on your face. <laughs> Hi folks and welcome to another photography challenge video that Paul Jokul from Iceland and myself are doing. Um, as you can see I'm in front of this beautiful big frozen waterfall here in Norway. Um, this will be the last time I will be in Norway for this series. I, my trip is coming to an end. I have a couple more nights here and then I'll be driving um, towards Denmark over the weekend staying there for two nights then I'll be catching up with family at home uh, but only briefly because almost straight after that well within a week's within a week's time or so uh, I'm flying out to the Faroe Islands to do a photography tour together with Paul um, it's the first time I'm going to meet Paul since November when we had a nice trip in Iceland um, but anyways back to this waterfall for this video uh, I'm going to show you some landscape selfies and what does that mean? Well, simply means that showing off a landscape like this where you have an obvious eye catcher which is the waterfall and include a human element, hello, <laughs> that's me, um, in order to get a sense of scale and you know we are so it just makes sense to, to in some frames to, to add a person in there to, to as I just said to see how really to see how big something is like this waterfall because I can show you some photos of this waterfall that I, I will take from here and you will obviously see and notice that it's quite large but me standing next to it gives a bit of a, a different perspective and shows off the size a bit better and uh, the beauty these days with all the equipment that we have is that I can make a shot like this, the one I'm filming right now with my camera, but it's quite open here. There's no trees in this, this valley where the river is running. It's running here underneath the snow. Um, so this is also a good spot to, to fly the drone and get an aerial perspective of this place and uh, including myself in it as well, um, standing here. And you know, Having a drone makes it so easy to, to just throw it up in the air and get a cool look of a place with, with you standing in it. And um, yeah, I will just show you some, some, uh, some shots from this place right now. And later on in the video, I'll probably uh, include some other photos that I've taken over the years in Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Norway maybe, um, where there's persons inside of a frame. So. You can see the scale of a scene that I have been shooting and I think it's uh, uh, personally I really like this uh, to do this kind of stuff because yeah it, it, it's more interesting in a way it draws your eye differently into a picture and you start looking a bit differently at a place like this for example um, but let's get the drone up in the air and film a few shots of this waterfall and then go ahead and take a few uh, photos with me standing in front of it. What an absolutely amazing place.
Yeah, and I think the challenge with um, those types of shots, as I will now um, walk out to take a few shots with my 70 to 200, just for my own portfolio to get some shots in. Um, yeah, the challenge, the challenge with getting shots of you, oh, sorry, <laughs> there I almost tripped, is not falling on your face. <laughs> That's one of them. Um, there's a few challenges involved. It is like finding a place like this where you know you're able to um, get away with these kinds of shots, where you are having some space to move around and include yourself in a nice way in front of the subject. Um, there's a bit of research involved in that. It doesn't always work with every beautiful spot that you have in mind. So you have to really, yeah, think about which way to approach it. And uh, I did some research on this waterfall and I knew that there was some, some open area in front of it. Um, this time the challenge also was getting here. Um, this was like an hour's hike or something on uh, through deep snow, uh, which is fine, it's not a problem. But before that, the road leading up to the point where I started the hike was quite sketchy as well. And uh, you've seen my latest video um, where I had a bit of a problem or a mistake with, with the car. I was a bit skeptic to drive this road, skeptical to drive this road, but this was, um, this was okay. I made it safely and I will make it back safely. Um, so, you know, sitting at home behind the computer, thinking about those kind of shots is, is one thing, but getting them done is a lot, of, a lot of work involved with that. Traveling to a country like this, knowing about a place like this, knowing which road to take to get here safely and back, um, knowing how the hike is going to be, what kind of conditions to expect judging the weather right um, all of these things are involved in landscape photography in general but then the added challenge this time is finding a composition with yourself in front of it and i think i i got what i wanted from this place um, so i'll shoot a bit more stuff that is not me uh, that has not me in it so not me included because this waterfall is just too nice to not photograph on its own as well and then later on I'll show you uh, a bit more photos, uh, as I talked about before, where it's somebody, either me or somebody else, inside of a frame in a landscape. And uh, with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Um, bye from Norway. Our next video is probably going to be a mutual one, where Paul and I are in the Faroe Islands together. Maybe we'll do one before that, I'm not sure, uh, but you'll find out as time passes by. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.